in this video, we shall study about the internal structure of a stamen. As we know that stamen is the male reproductive part of a flower which takes part in a sexual reproduction. So, a stamen is composed of anther, and a filament. Anther is a lobe-like structure and a lobe-like structure and this filament is a thread-like structure. So the this anther here is a lobe. There is this is a bilobe anther. Bilobe anther which stay connected from to each other by a sterile tissue sterile tissue which is known as the connective tissue this is a connective which is a sterile tissue that does not take part in the process of reproduction this helps to connect the two lobe of anther so this is a bilobe anther uh, a filament this is a, a filament is a thread like structure so a filament it may be originated from a thalamus or it may be originated from a petals so the down part of a filament is known as the is known as the proximal and whereas the upper part is known as the distal distal end Proximal means the end of a filament which is closer to the, to the region where it's originated. Whereas distal which is far from the origin where it is originated. So now we shall take a deep closer do this anther so in some plan the anther is bilobe when it is a bilobe it is known as dithecus dithecus means bilobe Whereas in some plant it is a only one lobe. This is a mono consists of one lobe. Monotecus is very common in a Malvasi family. Malvasi family. So, in a bilob, in a bilob, anther, the filament, when it attach, from the base of the connective. This is a connective, which is a sterile tissue, which connects the two lobe. To each other connective when this filament is attached to the base it is known as base fix then
when a filament is attached into the dorsal, it is known as dorsifix. It is known as dorsifix. But when a filament is attached to the connective along the length of the connective, along the length of a connective, it is known as adenate. Adenate. That's all about the external structure. That's all about the external structure of a stamen. So, in the next part, we shall see about the internal structure of the anta. We shall see about the internal structure of this lobe of the anta.